Hi, I'm Ian. I'm a member of the Alpha Mapping Team for HEMA Maps, and today I'm going to talk about the HEMA Nav software produced by HEMA Maps. So if we go into the settings on the screen here, and we look at each different uh, module. So in general, we've got an option there to make it a dark mode, so a dark screen in the background, or we just have it natural light. It's also a sleep mode, much the same as any uh, device where you can put it in a sleep mode. And there is a series of shortcuts and they'll allow you to put a shortcut on the right hand side of the screen so you can go directly to that. So if I give you an example, shortcut one, I'm going to change to the HX2 Plus camera, which I use regularly. And you'll see now it has appeared on the right hand side of the menu. So it's easily accessible without going into your settings. Let's also look at the profile. The HEMA Cloud will be coming soon, so stay tuned for that one. And at the moment, I'm operating as a guest user. The device itself will give you all the details on storage, updates, charging, etc. So if you go into the system settings, it will allow us to adjust the brightness of the screen to be more appropriate for your operating conditions. Your display, you can also adjust the brightness. You can turn on a night light, which will give you a orange background and uh, it's much more appropriate for driving at night. We can change the wallpaper if we want to. You can adjust the time that your screen will time out. I've got mine on 10 minutes. If we look at sounds, you can adjust the sound of each of your volumes to what's appropriate for your level. You can also turn them off with a don't disturb Looking at the Bluetooth capability, you can pair a device such as your headphones or your hearing device. Adjusting the date and time is easy. In my case, I just use the network provided time. However, you can adjust the time zone to suit your area of operation. And keyboard settings, you can adjust the languages. and your preferences as to whether you want a sound each time you press the keyboard. So I'm going to go back to the main screen now and you'll see the use of those settings. On the right hand side, we've seen the date at the top there. We can see the time that we've set, the battery percentage, whether it's charging or not. We can also see the satellites, how many satellites it's attached to. In this case, we're actually inside a building and we've got uh, five satellites that we're able to pick up from inside this building. We can see the reverse camera that I put in there as a shortcut. And at the bottom, we have a question, which as long as we've got Wi-Fi, it takes us straight to the HEMA uh, support section on their website. The one icon I haven't shown you yet is the Wi-Fi icon. So attaching to Wi-Fi is easy. It's a matter of turning the Wi-Fi on, selecting your Wi-Fi that you want to attach to. In our case, it's the HEMA group at the top there and adding the password and you're now attached to the Wi-Fi. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned some valuable insight into HEMA Nav. For more information, please check out hemamaps.com.